we have learned so far three rules of forming plural numbers now in the fourth rule if you have a y and there is a vowel before the y then all one you what you do is add s to the singular form it's very easy so in this rule number 4 if the singular noun has a y and there is a vowel before it to form the plural form you will simply add an s to the singular form and that will get you plural it's very simple again remembering rule is difficult but let us practice okay now rule number rule number 4 what the rule number 4 if a noun ends in y f a noun ends in y and y has a vowel before it and y has a vowel before it then what happens is the plural is formed by adding s to the singular the plural the plural is formed by adding s by adding s to the singular noun it's very simple and yet we think it is difficult if a noun ends in y and y has a vowel before it you simply add s to form plural form let's look at it singular b i'll write down the singular first b all i want to show you is ends in y and has a vowel before it so you'll form the plural by adding simply s b a y s b s that's it very very simple then you have boy donkey donkey essay joy journey he you have some more re monkey toy valley way day now story here the story is to the building story okay you are talking about it the building now 
Look at all the words I put up for you. The singular nouns I put up for you. Ray, monkey, toy, valley, way, day, story, key, journey, joy, essay, donkey, boy, bay. The rule says if the noun N has a Y, it ends in Y and there is a vowel before it. Then you simply add L to form the plural. Look at all the words, all the noun has a vowel before the Y. Look at all the words, there is a vowel before it. And therefore, you simply add an S and we form the, we get the plural noun. The first one is done for you. Be, bays, boy, boys, donkey, donkeys. You are simply adding an S. Essay, essays, joy, joys, journey, journeys, key, keys. Then we have here ray, rays, monkey, monkeys, just add as toy, toys, valley, valleys, way, ways, day, days and finally you are talking about the building stories, story, stories, this is a different story. So, very simple, you have a singular noun ending in Y and there is a vowel before it, you simply add S at the end to form the plural form. It's very easy. Try not to remember the rule, but practice. Let's look at it. If a noun ends in Y and the Y has a vowel before it, then the plural is formed by adding S to the singular. Be, base, boy, boys, donkey, donkeys, essay, essays, joy, joys, journey, journeys. Key, keys, ray, rays, monkey, monkeys, toy, toys, valley, valleys, way, ways, day, days, story, stories. So far we have done four rules to form the plural form. The fifth rule that we are going to follow is the noun ending in F and FE. The F and FB we will change and put VES to form the plural form. Again I am telling the rules are difficult to remember but practice makes you perfect. So, a noun ending in F or FV to form the plural form we will change the F and FV. And we simply add B, E, S on plural number, plural form. Number five. Rule number five. Nouns ending F. Nouns ending in F and F E, F or F E. If you have nouns ending in F or F B, form their plurals, form their plurals Form their plurals by adding, by changing, by 
changing F or F E, changing F or F E. We'll change F or F E into V E S into V E S. So the nouns ending in F or F V form the plural by changing the F or F V and adding you add V E S. You take away F or F V and you add you put in V E S. Now look at it. Practice will make you perfect, okay? Singular. Singular noun, plural, plural noun, singular, plural, so let's look at it, calf, You have ending in F, then noun. Thief, F, wife, F, E. I just want you to see. Nouns ending in F, nouns ending in F, V. We are going to form the plural. The F or F, V, we simply take it away and you put V, E, S. Now, I will put in more for you, then we will do. Calf, C, A, L, simply add V, E, S and it become more than one calves. Thief. B and B E S. Thieves, wife, wives. You are rule number five is end the word. The nouns end in F or F E. What we'll do? We'll change those F and F E, and we put V E S to form the plural number. I'll give you some more. Half, half ending by. So you have halves, halves, adding V E S to form the plural number. Leave, leave to form the plural. You add V E S. Next, you have loaf, loaf of bread, loaf. Loaves, then shelf in your house. There are lot of shelves, isn't it? Shelf, shelf, shelves. Then you have. See if I finish. Wolf, wolf. V E S wolves. Then I have here knife. F E. Here you have F E. Knives. More than one knife. Then we have life. Again you have F E, and we change that and add V E S. Lives. Okay? And then you have wife. I have done it for you. Life. Scarf. You have scarves. Scarves. Then you have sheep. 
corn, sheaf of corn or rice, whatever, sheaf. Now, in all these, rule number 5. In rule number 5, to form the plural form, if there is a noun ending in F or F, -E, we change the F and F -E and simply add V E L to form the plural form. And that is what we are looking at. Calf ends in F, we add V S calves. Thief ends in F. Thieves, Y ending in F E, we take away that and add V S, wives, half, halves, leave ending in F, leaves, loaf, loaf of bread, loaves, shelf, shelves, wolf, wolves, knife. Look at here, F E, we take away F E, knives, life ends in F E, we take away F E, lives, scarf, you tie it on your head, scarves, and sheaf, sheaves. Rule number 5 says, nouns ending in F or F E. To form the plural, we take away F and F E. Add V E S to form the plural numbers. So far we have done five rules, but sometimes some noun forms are exceptional. They follow a different rule. Now I have some exceptions here. Nouns ending in F in the singular form. To form the plural, you simply add S. Those are the exception in English language. Again, it is difficult to remember, but only by reading, writing, you get perfect. Okay. So, let us look at some of the exceptions to the word singular form ending in F. Here, some nouns form their plural by simply adding S to the singular. Some nouns, some nouns form their plural by adding S to the singular. Some nouns form their plurals by adding S to the singular. Now let's look at some of them, okay? Singular, plural. Singular, plural. Okay. Now, here you have chief. Earlier we learned, if a noun ends in F, we change it to VS. But here, the exception is, in this, to form the plural, you simply add S. So, chiefs. You simply add an S to form the plural form. And this is only for few nouns only. Okay? Just few. Grief. A very sad. Grief. Grieves. Adding S. Next, you have gulf. Gulf, gulfs. We simply add an S to form the plural. Hoof.
the horse's hoof, no? Hoofs. You add S to form the plural. Okay, then proof. Proof. Proofs. You add an S to form the plural. And finally, you have roof. House roof. Roof. Roofs. These are some exception to the rule because the words, the singular noun ends in F, but we are forming the plural by adding S to form the plural. Now, chief, chiefs, grief, grieves, gulf, gulfs, roof, roofs, proof, proofs, hoof, hoofs. We cannot remember all this. But when you do in the sentence form, when you go on reading a lot, then it comes to you. It grammar is caught. You cannot go on remembering the rules. This is only an exception. Words like chief, grief, gulf, proof, roof, hoop, all this. Just remember roof of the house, proof, proofreading, proofs, hoof, the horse's hoof. Just remember a little bit, but when we do it in sentence form, we'll remember better. Exceptions to the noun form, forming plural, by although ending in F, but we just add S to form the plural form. Now we go into rule number 6. To form the plural form, if a noun ends in O and there is a consonant before it, then what you do is to form the plural, you add es. For example, you will say hero, heroes. So, you simply add es to the singular noun to form the plural noun. So, the rule number six is, if a noun ends in o and there is a consonant before it, to form the plural, you simply add es. Okay? So, we go into rule number 6. Rule 6. Nouns ending in o. Nouns ending in o. they have a consonant, if they have a consonant before, before them, before Nouns ending in O, if they have a consonant before them, the plural is found, formed, the plural, the plural is formed by adding ES, by adding E S to the singular. If you have a noun ending in O and if there is a consonant before them, then you add E S to form the plural form. Okay, now let's look at some of the words. Singular, plural. Plural. Here you have 
tomato. It's ending in O. There is a consonant before it. Okay? Next. Buffalo. Ending in O. That's a consonant before it. Echo. Ending in O. There is a consonant before it. Mango. Ending in O. There is a consonant before it. Hero. In all this, tomato, buffalo, echo, mango, hero. All ending in O and there is a consonant before it. Therefore, you form the plural by adding ES to the singular. Now, tomatoes. You simply add ES to form the plural. Buffalo, buffaloes. You add ES to form the plural. Echo, you hear echo, echoes. Mango, mangoes. Add ES to form the plural. Hero. You add ES to form the. So the rule says any noun ending in O and there is a consonant before the O, you add ES to form the plural form. And I have few more examples for you. Cargo. Cargo. Cargo, potato, potato, volcano, and mosquito. In all this, you have the endings are all O and there is a consonant before it. Therefore, you form the plural by adding ES to the singular. So, cargo, you add ES to form the plural. Potato, potato, you add ES to form the plural. Volcano, you add ES to form the plural. And finally, mosquito. Form ES. The rule 6 says if a noun ends in O and there is a consonant before the O, then to form the plural you add ES. That's it. Okay, now let's look at this word tomato, tomatoes, buffalo, buffaloes, echo, echoes, mango, mangoes, hero. Heroes, cargo, cargoes, potato, potatoes, volcano, volcanoes, mosquito, mosquitoes. In this rule number six, we follow if there is an ending of a noun ending in O with the consonant before it, you form the plural by adding ES to the singular noun. We have done the rule number 6, but the, to the rule number 6, we have some exceptions. Now, nouns ending in O, double O. And the nouns are ending in, say, bamboo, cuckoo, piano, kilo, ending in O or O, O. The exception here is, you form the plural by simply adding an S. Again, there is no need for us to remember the rules and exceptions while we practice reading and writing. It will come correct. But your eyes and your ears need to be sharp. Look into it and it will happen. 
So let us look at a few exceptions to the rule of nouns ending in O. Exception to the sixth rule, okay. Nouns ending in O or double O, -O form the plural, form the plural by adding S, by adding S to the singular. It's just a few, just go through it many times, we'll be fine. Okay. Singular noun, plural noun. Now, let's look at them carefully. The first one I have here is bamboo. Bamboo. There is double O here. Dynamo. You have Dyna, dynamo, single O. Then you have cuckoo, double O here. Then I have here piano. Piano, you have single O. And finally, I have hello. There are five single exceptions, and these form the plural by simply adding S to the singular. Now look at the first one, bamboo. You will say, bamboo, you simply add S, bamboos. Dynamo, dynamos. Then you have cuckoo. Cuckoo double O, you simply add S, cuckoos. Piano. Piano, you add S and you get piano. Kilo. And you add S kilos. So, here the exception to the rule. Nouns ending in O or double O. Form the plural by adding S to the singular. It's very easy to remember. Is it bamboo? Bamboos. Dynamo? Dynamos. Cuckoo? Cuckoos. Piano? Pianos. Kilo? Kilos. When we do sentences, when you are reading, when you are writing, it will come automatic. Only practice will help us in remembering all these exceptions to the rules.